أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وبه نستعين إنه خير ناصر ومعين الحمد لله رب العالمين باري الخلائق أجمعين وصلى الله على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين أبي القاسم المصطفى محمد اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد وعلى أهل بيت الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين الهداة المهديين سيما بقية الله في الأرضين روحي وأرواح العالمين لتراب مقدم الفداء ولعنة الدائم على أعضائهم أجمعين اللهم كل وليك الحجة ابن الحسن صلواتك عليه وعلى أبائه في هذه الساعة وفي كل ساعة ولي وحافظ وقائد وناصر ودلي وبعينا حتى تسكنهم أرضك تبعا what of Matiahu fiha tabila? May God hasten the reappearance of Abdiyar Imam. Imam Al Mahdi alayhi salatu wa salam. Sallu ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Salam alaikum jami'an wa rahmatullah. My dear brothers and respected sisters, before starting my speech, I say something about Vajjil Farajahum after this salawat that we recite for the Prophet and his Ahlul Bayt. Please try not to forget Vajjil Farajahum after salawat, after this salawat. Why? Look, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad Vajjil. Hasten, harakishe, farajahum. Faraj, hum, hum, any wow, they. What is the meaning of faraj? Look, Prophet and his Ahlul Bayt. And hasten in their faraj. Faraj, if you want to hear, explain it. We can say that Faraj is the result of all the efforts that they did from Prophet Adam till Imam Hassan al-Askari and Imam Mahdi والسلام, wants to complete the mission of God not the mission of Prophets because God said this is my pledge Ahadiyangu يا أيها الرسول بلغ ما أنزل أنزل إليك من ربك فإن لم تأفعل فما بلغت رسالته not رسالتك رسالته this is message يامو this is the mission of God يعني God says oh prophet look one hundred twenty four thousands prophet you are the last one 23 years you are bothering yourself to guide people but if you don't do this action it means that you have done nothing it means that you have said nothing till now so it's very important hasten in their reappearance from Adam till Imam Hassan al-Askari. They had the mission from God. Imam Mahdi is going to complete it. Because he is the last one. He is the last Khalifatullah, the last vicegerent of God on the earth. Vajjil farajahum. It is very, very valuable sentences. Vajjil farajahum. As I don't know, you know or know, Allah Ma'amini, the writer of the book of Al-Ghadir, 20 volumes. He said that if you say Va'ajjal Farajahum, you will be among those who want to take Sawab from this book. Any person that says Va'ajjal Farajahum, it seems that you have written this book, Va'ajjal Farajahum, the book of Al-Ghadir. Very valuable book. Very valuable book. That we say our Sunni brothers, we ask Wahhabi people, 
allow your mosque, allow your schools have this book in your libraries. Allow your youths to read this book. If you love God, all Sunni scholars are brothers, or Wahhabi scholars. If you love God, listen the word of God in Quran. الَّذِينَ يَسْتَمِعُونَ الْغَوْلِ وَيَتَّبِعُونَ أَحْسَنَا And if God has allowed me and you to listen different words from different scholars, from different points of views, and then God says, then you choose the best one. Why? Because if you just want to listen one people, one group of people, one person, one scholar, how can you understand the realities? So when God allowed us to listen different words, why some groups of Islam don't allow their users, their followers, to know about the teachings of their opponents? We should not be afraid because people have aql. They read their book. They read your book. Quran says, and then they decide which way is the best way. So this Al-Ghadir, allow your youths to read this Al-Ghadir. As we have in our libraries, Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim, Sunan this, Sunan that, Sihah Sitta, many books. Even all the books of Wahhabi you can find in our libraries. If you go to Iran, in the libraries, you can find all their books. Researchers come, read, and they decide. So you do the same. Al-Ghadir, 20 volumes. So, Va'ajal Farajahum, it means that, oh God, bring Mahdi, make Mahdi appear, because Mahdi wants to fulfill the mission all the prophets and imams. Mahdi wants to fulfill the mission of you on the earth. Mahdi wants to implement justice, tawheed, la ilaha illallah, in all the corners of the earth. So, va'ajjal farajahum is very important. Please don't forget that. So, we said that, my brothers and sisters, we said that we should love God. We should love people because of God. And among these people, these people, there is a person that possesses the highest level of beauties, divine beauties, taqwa, iman, love, bravery, tawheed. He is the best. We call him Khalifatullah. So, when I should love because of God, this person, Khalifatullah, is more qualified than anybody else, is more deserved than anybody else, that I can love him. But we said, it is enough. We said, no. This love that you have in your heart towards prophets, towards our prophet, towards Ahlul Bayt, it should affect, it should push you towards God. Why towards God? Because this Imam, this prophet, this Khalifa to Allah, that we love him, God he has appointed him for me. Because I should be guided through this person. So the love that I have towards Amir al mumin towards Prophet, towards Lady Zahra, this love should push me towards God. If this love doesn't push me towards God, it means that this love has been broken. Doesn't work. This love, this heart has been broken. We should fix it. We should fix it. It is broken. We mentioned very beautiful narration, that black servant of Imam Ali. May God be sacrificed, not for Imam Ali, this is something else. May my soul be sacrificed for this black servant of Imam Ali. May God have mercy on this person, on this black servant of Imam Ali. 
When that person asked this black person, who cut your four fingers, as mentioned, he started to praise Ali and then said, Zakaballah Ali ibn Abi Talib. The person who cut my hand is Ali and he is enjoying that Ali has cut his fingers. Why? Because Ali has cut his fingers because of God, not because of his soul, his nafs. No. Even Ali here has nothing to do with this story. Ali must cut. If Ali doesn't cut, it means that Ali doesn't love God. If this person doesn't allow Ali to cut his fingers, it means that they, he doesn't love Ali, doesn't love God. But both sides love God. That's why Ali cut and this person is happy. And after that, the, the continuation of this narration. So that person said, Ali has cut your fingers. Why you are happy? Why you are praising Ali? He said this sentence, my brothers and sisters. He said, لو قطعني إربا إربا ما ازددت له إلا حبا. Ali has cut my four fingers. But if Ali cut my body into pieces, the love of Ali will be increased in my body. And Ali is cutting my body into pieces. And any time that he cuts my body, it increases the love that I have towards Ali. What is this story of love? My sisters and brothers, this is the meaning of loving Khalifatullah. Because this person knows that through Ali he can be connected to God. He loves Ali not because of Ali, because of God. That person came to Ali alayhi salatu wasalam. He was so surprised. Who is this follower Shia of Ali? Who is this person? What is this story of love? He narrated this story for Imam Ali. Imam Ali said this sentence. إِنَّ مُحِبِّينَ لَوْ قَتَعْنَاهُمْ إِرْبًا إِرْبًا مَزْدَادُ لَنَا إِلَّا خُبَّا The same thing that that black servant of Imam Ali said. Oh man, my lovers, those who love me, if I cut them into pieces, nothing will be increased within themselves except the love that they have in their hearts towards me. Not only they don't hate me, they love me more, they love me more, they love me more. Because they love me and they are my Shia. They know my position in sight of God. And if you read the story of the followers, the special followers of Imam Ali or special followers of the Holy Prophet of Islam, we will know more about this story. And Imam Ali, Imam Ali continues like this. الأقناهم السمن والأسل ما مزداد لنا إلا بغضة. Imam Ali said, if I cut my Shia, my follower, my muhib, my lover into pieces, they love me more. But here says, if Imam Ali says, if I put asali, if I put honey in the mouths of my enemy, nothing will be increased in them, but hatred. No, I put asal in their mouths, but they hate me. I put asal more in their mouths, they hate me more. Look, the same action. It is very strange. This story of love is very strange, my sisters and brothers. This story of... It is connected to the story of guidance. We cannot separate them from each other. And this story of love, when we should, we should love and this love should push me towards God, we see, if you refer to the narrations, we see that the hell, the paradise are going to be distributed among people based on this story. Please listen. This narration, 
is from Imam Sajjad salam from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam ma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad wa ajjil faraja the prophet says fil jannati thalathu darajatin wa fil nari thalathu darajat in the paradise there, is three, there are three levels in the hell three levels So at first, Imam, the Holy Prophet talks about the three levels of Jannah, Paradise. The lowest, <coughs> the lowest level of Paradise, in the third level, Prophet said, man Who is going to live in the third level of Paradise? Those who love God, those who love Prophet, Ahlul Bayt, the Prophet, through their heart. This is the third level. وفي الدرجة الثانية, this the second level. Who is gonna live there? من أحبنا بقلبه, those who love us with their heart, ونصرنا بلسانه, and they help us with their tongue. For example, my sisters, brothers, sometimes you need to talk to defend the Prophet, to defend Ahlul Bayt, to defend Palestine, anything related to God. You must talk. If you love and talk, Prophet says, they will be placed in the second level of paradise. But the third level, the highest level, فَأَعْلَى دَرَجَاتِ الْجَنَّةِ The highest level, who is going to live here? فَأَعْلَى دَرَجَاتِ الْجَنَّةِ لِمَنْ أَحَبَّنَا بِغَلْبِهِ Those who love me and my Ahlul Bayt with their heart وَنَسَرَنَا بِلِسَانِهِ And they help us with their tongue through their words وَبِيَدِهِ And you, you can watch this love with in their action. You can watch this love in their heart, on their tongue, and when practicing, when acting, you can see the result of this love. They are going to be placed at the highest level of Jannah. So this was about paradise. Exactly the set, the th they have three other levels for hell, for Jahannam. وفي الدرك الثالث من النار the third level the lowest level of the fire of جهنم who is gonna live there forever من أبغضنا بقلبه those who hate us with their heart you know some people hate God hate Prophet hate أهل البيت hate Palestine hate all the beauties but they don't bring this hatred on their tongue. Nobody knows that they hate God, they hate religion. Just they know and God know. This is the, these people are going to live in the third level of uh, in the third level of Jahannam in the fire. وفي الدرك الثانية من النار in the second level of fire of Jahannam who is gonna live there? من أبغزنا بغلبه the person who hates us, Prophet and Ahl al-Bayt, with their heart, and they show this, this hatred by their tongue. And the highest level, the worst level of the fire of Jahannam, is related to somebody who hates God, Prophet, and Ahlul Bayt, and all the beauties with their heart. And they show this hatred with their tongue, and they show this hatred with their action. They are going to be placed in the worst place of Jahannam. Look, Jannah, Jahannam are going to be distributed among me and you based on this story. Now I am asking you, this story is not deserved to be paid attention? Yes, of course. We should pay attention to this story. But 
Here is very beautiful, my sisters and brothers. And we want to answer one of the doubts that Wahhabiyya and Ahlu Sunnah have towards Shia. They say what? They say, why you ask Prophet something? It is shirk. Why you ask Imam Rida? It is shirk. Why you ask Imam Ali to help you? It is shirk. And they want, they use some beautiful words to deceive people. They say that we have God. God is closer to you than this vein of your neck. Your neck. So this God is so close to you, even he is closer to you than yourself to yourself. So why you are talking with Prophet? They passed away. Why you ask Zahra? She passed away. Why you go to the Holy Shrana of Lady Ma'asuma? Oh, oh Lady Ma'asuma, please help me. It is shirk. Through this story, we want to answer this doubt. That this idea is completely wrong. And those who raise this doubt, it means that they know nothing about the story of love, about the story of guidance. Look. God tells about some people. Which people? They love God. They love Prophet. They love Ahlul Bayt. They love Khulafaullah. They love Khalifatullah. And this love pushes them towards God. And this love works. This heart is working. It is not the heart that God hates. Because God said there are some hearts that they, this, this heart don't work. God says these people, these people askantu fi qalbihi hubban. I have placed love in the heart of this people, this man. Hatta aj'ala qalbahu li. Till God make the heart of this person for himself. Yani this person will be included in this verse of Quran. This person has one heart. This heart belongs me. God says. God says, if when you reach this position, the position of love, when you know the story of love, I make your heart for myself. I do not allow anybody else, anything else, to enter your heart. Look. And then God, God says, I open the eye of his heart. This heart has eye, yes. As Imam Ali says, somebody asked Imam Ali, oh Imam Ali, do you see God? Imam Ali said, yes, if I don't see God, I don't worship him. That person, Akashanga, he was surprised. You are watching God? Imam Ali said, yes, but not with this eye, with this eye. The eye of heart. Alam nashrah laka sadrak. I have opened your eye. Why? To receive knowledge related to God. After ha'ayna qalbihi. God says, I will open the eye of his heart. This person is not included in this verse. Lahum gulubun la yafqahun. No. Lahum gulubun yafqahun. They understand. Their heart is working. وَسَمْعَهُ Look. وَأَفْتَحَ أَيْنَ سَمْعِهِ This ear has eye. Very beautiful. God says, I will open the eye of his ears. He can listen. Something that the other people cannot listen. حَتَّى يَسْمَعَ بِغَلْبِهِ Then he can hear, not by this ear. They can hear, they can listen by their heart. وَيَنْظُرَ بِقَلْبِهِ They watch but not with this eye as Imam Ali said as Khalifatullah on the earth said they watch but with their eyes and وَيَنْظُرَ بِقَلْبِهِ وَنَعْنْجَلِيَا نِنِي وَنَعْنْجَلِيَا نَانِي God said they look with their heart إِلَى جَلَالِي إِلَى عَزَمَتِي Now they can see my greatness Now they can see my glory my beauty Why God is giving this gift to some people? Because they understood their story of love. What is the function of their story of love? God said, this is your gift. So, 
We want to answer that doubt. In Dua Yawmul Juma, Ziyarat Hazratul Hujja, in the day of Friday, we call Imam Mahdi, we address Imam Mahdi like this. We want to give salam Imam Mahdi. Look how we salam, how we give salam. Do you remember that I told you love has levels, huh? Ashaddu hubballa it means Quran says, God says, this love has level. Iman has level. Allazina amanu ashaddu hubballa Yani this love has levels. Based on what? Based on the levels of Iman. So, for sure, in every time, one person possesses the highest level. We call, Shia calls this person Khalifatullah. Look. And this verse, this narration, look this salam that the Shia gives to Khalifatullah. As-salamu alayka ya hujjatallah fi arzeh. Listen very well, please. Salam upon you. Who you are? Hujjatallah fi arzeh. Hujjatallah fi arzeh, yani the best person in these levels that we said. As-salamu alayka ya ayn Allah. Peace be upon you, O oh, the eye of God. As-salamu alayka ya nur Allah. Peace be upon you, O oh, the light of God. And in other uh, du'as and supplications and narrations, we have Ozonullah. Peace be upon you, O oh, the ear of God. So what is the benefit, the job of this Nurullah, Aynullah, Ozonullah? Allazi yahtadi bihi al muhtadun O oh, Imam, you are the person that any person who is going to be guided, he should be guided through you, by you. The story of Adam, the story of Yusuf, the story of the Prophet, the story of Khalifatullah. And through this person, if you want to be guided, you should be guided through Mahdi. Why Mahdi? Look the name Mahdi, yani the person has been guided. Quran says, Quran mentioned two kind of people. The person that has been guided, the person who needs guidance. God asks me and you. God asks Wahhabi people. God asks Shia people. God asks Sunni people. God asks all the Muslims. All people choose. The person who has been guided is more deserved to be followed. Or the person who needs to be guided. Which one? Your intellect says what? Look, God said we have two people in Quran. Mahdi, and the person who has been guided. Through this person we must be guided. So what even, even my brothers and sisters, even Wahhabi accepts. Even Sunni accepts because they say Man Mata Walam Yaraf Imam Zamanihi Mata Meetatan. Jahiliyah. This is the common belief. But the best explanation is related to Shia. Usi kubali, usi katai. Fanyeni utafiti. Fanya utafiti. Fanya utafiti. Search. Allazina yasta. So, now we answer this doubt, this question. Why you ask Prophet? Why you ask Imam? Why you ask? Why you ask? That's why they destroyed the graveyard of Baghi. But they don't dare to destroy the grave of Prophet. They don't dare. They destroyed Qabristan Baghi. Because they say, it is mushrik. You are mushrik. Why you ask from grave? So, although from Sunni sources, from Wahhabi sources, we prove that Prophet was talking with dead people. 
prophet in some sources of Ahlul Sunnah, it proves the prophet was talking with the dead people. Imam Ali was talking with the dead people. So now I am asking Imam Mahdi to help me. According to these documents, I am mushrik. God said, they are my ear, they are my eye. Through them you must be guided. Yes, if I go to the Holy Shalom of Mawarza, but I forget about God, and I just see Imam Riza, yes, it is shirk. Why not? It is shirk. And this is the idea of Shia. But Imam Riza is like a mirror. We like a mirror. And we see in this mirror the light of God. Look, look. Malaika should prostrate for Adam. Adam is a mirror that Malaika and Satan, they must see in this mirror the light of God. Malaika did as God said, but Satan said, I don't watch this mirror. I want to watch you directly. God says, shame on you. You should look at this mirror. Through this mirror, you should reach me. Yes, if I see Imam Rizal, but I don't see God, it is shirk. But because Imam Rizal has dignity towards God, because he is ma'asum, but I have committed many sins. Oh, Imam Rizal, you have dignity in sight of God. Please ask him to help me. I know that if God doesn't want you to help me, Imam Rizal, you are nothing. You are Imam Rizal because of God. I love you because of God. Without God, you are nothing. Yes, if I just see Imam Raza, I like salatu wasalam, but not God, it is shirk. It is so clear. But that you say that it is shirk, how do you deal with all these narrations and the verses of Quran? And my sisters and brothers, through this love, through this love, we can be connected to Khalifatullah. How? As I told you, I think before, in Dua al Nudba, very beautiful Dua, in Dua al Nudba, we ask God, uh, excuse me, we ask Imam Mahdi, Hal ilayka yabn Ahmad fatulga, O the son of Prophet, O the son of Prophet, is there any way that make me connected to you? Is there any way? In Hadith Mi'raj, God answers this question. Look. مَحَبَّةً لَا يُؤَثِّرُ عَلَى مَحَبَّةِ مَحَبَّةَ الْمَخْلُوغِينَ If you reach the satisfaction of God, if you work because of God, if you possess this, the, the position of satisfaction, رِضَى, God says, I will give you one love. When put, I put this love in your heart, no other love can enter into your heart. And it, this heart just smells God. When you reach this position, when you reach this position, I open your heart and you can see my greatness, my, your glory, my beauty. You can see what something that other people cannot see. And وَلَا أُخْفِي عَلَيْهِ خَاصَّةَ خَلْغِي I do not make hidden. I don't hide my best creature. So in every time, who is the best creature of God? Can we answer anything other than Khalifatullah? The person who possesses the best levels. The highest level of taqwa, iman, love, bravery, tawheed. God says, I will show him to you. God says, if you reach this position, if you understand the story of love, I put your hand in the hand of Khalifatullah. 
look what is the effect of the story of guidance. But my last word tonight. My brothers and sisters, there is a great obstacle. Kuna kikwazo kubwa katika njahi. Kina itwa nafs. Nafs. Why I love my father and because of the love that I have towards my father, I forget about God. Why? Because of my child, I'll commit sin. This is not because of my child, my father, my mother. No, it's because of nafs. This nafs is pushing me towards Satan. And this is, that's why in narration we, we have أَعْدَى عَدُوْفِكَ نَفْسُكَ الَّتِي بَيْنَا جَنْبَكَ The worst enemy that you have is not America, is not Israel, is nafsiyaku, is your nafs. You should fight with this nafs. Fighting with Israel, with America, is jihadul asghar. Jihadul akbar is fighting with yourself. Really, it is correct. Really. Because if you don't fight with yourself, you cannot make yourself satisfied to fight with Israel. This is introduction, prerequisite. You should fight yourself and then fight with America, with Israel. That's why Prophet said, you fought with enemies, this is Jihad al Asghar, the small jihad. The great jihad is fighting with yourself. And another narration, Mathalun nafs, kamathalin nu'ama, ta'kulul kathir, wa idha humil alayha la tatir. The example, the story of nafs is the example of the story of ostrich that eats a lot but it carries nothing, no burden. Hadithiya nafsini hadithiya mbuni anayakula sana lakini habibi mbziku. This is nafs. This is the nafs that we should fight with him. If we don't fight with him, we cannot taste the story of love. If we don't fight with this nafs, the nafs, we cannot taste the story of guidance. May God hasten the reappearance of Abdiyar Imam. Imam Al-Mahdi alayhi salatu wassalam. Salatu ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allah.